Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios. Let's get into a new thing. Shrekt Laddie? What? No idea. Huh. Anyway. Alright, going to our subscribed list, I guess we should finally play... <sighs> Necromorphs. This is not the first time I've tried this one. Uh, I've tried recording it at least on two or three different occasions. Gotten frustrated and left because it's really freaking hard. So, let's try it again today. An extraterrestrial plague which forms deceased bodies into nightmarish alien zombie mutants. Alien zombie mutants had in teenage or ninja, and there we go. Teenage alien zombie mutants is caused by marker artifacts from Dead Space. Some of you guys might be familiar with that franchise. Pretty fun game, honestly. I enjoyed Dead Space 1 and 2 quite a bit. Dead Space 3, not quite so much, but eh, whatever. New Necromorphs abilities, events, blah, blah, blah. This has been updated. That's nice by Wilfredo Paulino. Wilfredo. That's a cool name. Uh, we do not get to choose any of our genes, so I'm not really t sure what we are using, but we will be playing on normal difficulty. And guess what? They added in a random uh, name generator. Ready, sis. Stress Chuckle. Dang Eruption. Nero Murderer. What the heck are some of these? Got no idea. We're going to stick with Necromorphs. But, uh, kind of cool that they added that into the game. I like that a lot. Alright, warning. After millions of years, the marker has been activated by detecting human signals and is transmitting his own signal now. His? Do we ever assign a gender to the marker? Or is it supposed to be it? I don't know. Extraterrestrial life. A mysterious artifact is found by a team of researchers in the asteroid impact crater off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Scientists assume that this marker artifact is created by an extraterrestrial intelligence. Very cool. I'm going to be honest. I've had a heck of a time with this one. Big time heck of a time with this one. I don't really like it. Because once ZCOM sets up, you're screwed. But we'll see. All right. Starting off with our transmission, we have Amplified Marker Signal 1. An Amplified Marker Signal increases the manipulation of human brain and land transmission. It's pretty much the only transmission options you are going to get is amplifying the marker signal. So kind of meh. Symptoms... We've got headache. That's kind of cool. The human brain is overstrained with decoding the marker signal, resulting in easy and constant headaches. All right. And then for our abilities, we have a periodic signal. The marker signal is transmitted in irregular intervals and becomes harder to analyze in a lab, decreases future research speed, and unitology. Unitologists believe that the human race was created by the intelligent design of aliens and will be reunified after death in heaven through the power of the marker. They are a bunch of total nutjobs in the game. Kind of cool, though. And then we already have replication. The marker transmits codes and blueprints to human brains. Scientists are forced to replicate the alien artifact, but most people just hear noise. I don't remember when we get access to the rest of this. I'm pretty sure that once we amplify the marker signal, we'll find a few more abilities. But mostly those are along the lines of, hey, infect a random country. And it costs a lot of DNA, and DNA is scarce in this particular scenario. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be making use of that or not. Seriously, though, this particular scenario I found that if you do not have a presence in every single country before the cure is done, then you're screwed. Because Zcom will set up, probably on Iceland or something stupid like that, and you're doomed. There's no winning. Combat advantage is very difficult to get in this scenario, I find. Well, I take it back. It. Oh, wait. No. Getting headache allows marker copy. I, I am incorrect. Eventually, we'll unlock Necromorphs, right? And as you unlock different kinds of Necromorphs, it will give you different kinds of advantages. New countries, combat advantage, blah, blah, blah. It just does not seem to be strong enough to actually overcome Zcom. It's rough. It's really rough. But we'll see. So, we now have access to Voices in My Head, Brutal Headache, and Terrifying Nightmares. The thing is, I know, because I've done this before, to get to Necromorphs, you pretty much want to beeline down straight to here. Which I believe will allow for the Necromorphs to begin generating. And then you just want to spend the rest of your points here. You don't want to bother with any extra symptoms because the costs are outrageous. So don't bother. We are going to go for the amplified marker signal because I think that the extra transmission and land transmission could be kind of good. EarthGov is creating secret marker test labs to understand the marker and use its limitless energy. Bad idea. I don't really have much of a choice, though. So let's be honest. It's the year 2214, by the way. In case you didn't notice that tiny little detail. Also, no news ticker. 
there is no news in the future. We probably have like a collective intelligence or something. No, not quite. Do we want to go for more amplified marker signal? Eh, why not? Let's go for the extra transmission in the early game. I really want to get into as many places as possible, and I don't want to touch any symptoms. Not a single freaking symptom do I want to touch. Nope. Let them mutate. Can't really help it. I just want to get into as many countries without uh, attracting the notice of the humans as possible. We did, however, just mutate terrifying nightmares regardless, so that kind of sucks. But hey, it slows future res uh, research speed slightly. Goodness gracious. Um, do you want to go for unitology? No, because the extra severity means I'll get caught, and I don't want to get caught. We are, however, going to go for at least one marker copy. This should increase my power, which I don't really understand what they mean by power, because there is a point later in the game, as you get necromorphs, you'll find that your, uh, your strength or your combat advantage increases, so what's power? I'm not strictly sure what that's supposed to represent. Oh, great, thank you. The marker just put me in the United States. I was already in Mexico, right next to it, but nope. The marker copy was built in the United States. What a total waste of my time. I was kind of hoping to get over here, you know? But that didn't happen. So, oh well. It's a little bit of a slow start, though, you'll be notice. It takes a very, very, very long time to infect people. Do any of the symptoms actually give you more infectivity? Eh, teeny little bit. Voices in my head and stuff. It's not much to speak of, though. It's pretty negligible. That's the thing. This scenario is just really, really slow. Just, there's not enough transmission options, in my opinion. I feel like you really need to have access to some more stuff besides amplifying the marker signal. There will be more later, but only once you have your necromorphs. The problem is, once I get necromorphs, they're going to start setting up Zcom. So... You want to get necromorphs as early as you can to start killing things, but at the same time, you get them too early, you're screwed. There's just no easy way to do this, I find. None. Alright, we got our brutal headache. We now have schizophrenia. Again, pretty severe. Let's go for another marker copy. Let's hope we go somewhere important. God! Okay, well. Still over in North America. Not what I was hoping for there. Not even a little bit. Right. Well. This is fun. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, finally, getting into, like, Saudi Arabia and stuff. Now we can start spreading. Oh, good, they found us. We have, like, very little severity because we have picked up zero symptoms. They've all been mutated, but nope. They're already concerned about the necromorphs, and they're going to start working on the cure. And because we are a necrovirus, guess what? They're going to be working on that cure very, very, very rapidly. Yep, and they've already started working on it. But fortunately, not very many people. I'm pretty sure it's just Mexico. I'm going to stock up some points now. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm not going to spend it on any abilities. I mean, I, I could spend some to try and reduce the research speed. But I'm not sure how much this is going to do for us. Eh, you know what? Let's go for one. It's early enough that I think we can do at least one a periodic signal. There is influence. Makes it harder to cure. And then there's deception. Again, slowing future research speed. You could do that. And that would be an okay option, I suppose. As far as just trying to make sure that you buy as much time to get around and infect as possible. Unfortunately, our boats all appear to be going to pretty much the same places. Oh, great, we got schizophrenia. That's more severity, and now we've been placed on the watch list. And look how fast they're working on it now. Even though we only have less than 20% of active cure research, it's going super freaking fast. This is the curse of necromorphs. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for a different strategy. I am going to go straight for the freaking necromorphs. Insanity... Corruption, Necromorphs. We're going to get our zombies as quickly as we can. So, Insanity, a little bit of lethality, uh, slows research speed significantly. Corruption, you know, kind of cool stuff. This allows up the uh, Necromorphs, and now you have different kinds of Necromorphs available to you. It's a lot like Rise of the Xenomorphs in that way. Now, the reason I like this better than Rise of the Xenomorphs is it actually is not just a stat increase. Right? Each different type actually has a practical use. So, for example, increased Necromorph conversion. That's pretty good. I'm going to grab that. Right? If I look to, for example, the Lurker, I get two extra countries infected and more power, whatever power means. You know, horde size, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty good. It's good to know that this stuff is available, and it's good to know exactly what these do, and they're not just basic stat increases. That's the reason I didn't like Rise of the Xenomorphs. Necromorphs at least does it right, in my opinion. We're going to go for Horde. Uh, do we want Bloodlust? No. Do we want Collecting? Not really. Transmission, though, maybe we go for bacterial growth. It's a teeny bit of infectivity. It's so minor, honestly. It's just so negligible. 
Transmission is so hard to get in this particular version. Like, you really need to focus on Necromorphs, I think. I'm gonna get a Lurker. And we're gonna build up some points. We're gonna get some Hordes. We're gonna try to get around to a few islands. Insanity. Everywhere, people go insane for no reason and start killing everyone they see. Murder and chaos spread extremely fast and get out of control. Necromorphs begins to reanimate the dead, starting to turn infected corpses into zombies, and will grow more powerful over time. Humanity has no idea what will happen. Well, here's hoping they don't set up ZCOM anytime soon. That's all I have to say. Let's get a few zombies up into Canada. Uh, let's see. We've already got some in the Caribbean. Nothing in the UK yet. Necromorph Outbreak. Necromorphs do not suffer from the vulnerabilities associated with a body that needs interconnected vital organs, centralized nervous system, respiration, or vascular support. Injuries that would kill an ordinary human have little effect on them. Well, that's just great, isn't it? Let's go from... Well, we don't have any zombies yet in Japan. We have infected people, but not, not all of them have been turned into necromorphs yet. Pretty much just Mexico. And Colombia. And Brazil. Argentina was infected, I think? Yeah, so the entirety of North and South America have been infected. We do need to get into Greenland, Iceland, and we need to spread a bit more through places like Russia and so on. I'm going to go ahead and increase things like... Um, well, I could go for Enhanced Lurker. This will get me two extra countries infected. Which could be kind of nice. Power plus three. I like that. We'll get it. I do want to get some Horde Size increases. I think that might be pretty important. We could go for Infector to increase Necromorph Conversion, but that's pretty expensive. And this is where Necromorph just becomes unbearably difficult to me. The symptom costs become really, really high. And if you do not get everywhere quickly before ZCOM can spread, you're, you're screwed. You're just screwed. It's that simple. Let's go for the Enhanced Slasher, Horde Size, plus 500, Power plus 3. Reduced Decay Rate, kind of nice, I guess. Uh, Exploder, Divider, Decreased Necromorph Decay. I mean, that can be okay. But I think I'd rather go for Horde Speed, Power, and Horde Size, and stuff like that instead. We could go for another Country Infected. That's going to cost me 14 points, though, which is kind of sucky. Typically, in the... Um, can we go from... Yes, let's go from the UK up to Iceland. Typically in a Necrovirus, the more severity you have, the more effective your zombies are. Right? So to that extent, you want to go for things like Unitology. So we're going to go for it. That would open up Growing Faith. Rumors about a secret alien artifact are spreading everywhere. Unitology becomes the fastest growing religion in history. 20 points, a little bit more severity. The stat increases are just so expensive and really not worth a whole lot. Maybe we'll go for bacterial growth and cheap things like that in the future. Not too sure. Now, they haven't set up things like ZCOM yet. We're already losing zombies. Uh, they've starved themselves out in places like Mexico. Not a big deal to me, though. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we probably... What else do we have infected? We do have West Africa. Missing a few more places. We need to get around through Europe. We need to get some islands. We need to get Russia. So let's go from China to Russia real quick. Let's go from... Japan to, let's say, New Guinea. And they've set up ZCOM in Finland. We're screwed! It's that simple. We are absolutely screwed. They've already set up. Because I got Necromorphs early, because I didn't really have much choice. But let's go from Russia into Finland and see if there's anything we can do. Uh, I could go for some bacterial growth. And I'm going to, to try and get more um, Necromorphs a little bit faster. Increase Necromorph Conversion here. 18 points, though. A little expensive. Not sure I can justify it. But everything now, every single new type of Necromorph is really pricey. So, what do you do in that case? Just go for as much power as possible? You know? In which case, why go for the Divider? Always go for the Brute. Decrease their Decay Rate and increase their power? I don't know. Oh, great! They already grew stronger in Finland. Now we're really screwed! So frustrating. Alright. We're missing. A few islands. Greenland. We got some spare zombies, or I should say necromorphs in Canada. Uh let's go from, let's say Germany up to Norway. We have not got anything coming down here yet. How about Australia? Australia go to actually go to New Zealand. That's a little bit harder to get. I'm going to go for the reduced decay rate with the Brute, increase their power. And let's see how they look in Finland. Oh, nope, they're all dead. See? That's what I'm talking about. 
And this is the main reason that I get frustrated with this necro uh, this uh, necromorphs, necrovirus type. Oh, good. They're already going to set up a new base. Where are they going to go? To Germany! Thank you. Frustrating. Well, they're going to start dying off in Germany pretty quick. And they're gone. See? That's all it takes. That's all it takes for basically all my zombies to die. Done. Over. Goodbye. I have yet to figure out if there's like a trick to this scenario. I'm going to try something different. Let's go for bacterial growth. That leads to bacterial growth 3. Nope. That's just more necromorph conversion. It's got so many different options here, you'd like to think that there's something important here. But as far as I know... Nope. Not that I know of. Let's go for growing faith in the extra severity. Cryo storage. Increase necromorph conversion and power. Unitology was right to increase power. It's just a bit too expensive. If you're going to spend 21 points, why not go for something different? Like Leaper and get 2 power plus horde speed. There's really no reason to go for anything other than symptoms, and the symptoms become outrageously expensive. I don't know. Oh, they're setting up a third Zcom base in Botswana. Great. What countries are we missing? Sweden, Madagascar, Indonesia, Philippines. We already have someone going to New Zealand. Let's go to Indonesia. Let's go to the Philippines. And to Sweden. Okay. The only thing I can think to do at this point is just... I mean, I can't get them more combat advantage, really. Can't afford much. I could just continue to decrease the Necromorph Decay. And we've seen how that worked in a different Necrovirus scenario, where our opponent, the Anti-Plague, had so little Decay that no matter what we did, they were pretty much just screwed. So maybe we go for that. Alright, let's go for the Reduced Decay rate. Do we want more Horde Speed? You know, let's just reduce their decay even further. There you go. Pregnant. The necromorph infection is able to trigger a disturbing, extremely fast version of pregnancy to create smaller necromorphs. That's disturbing. We're still doing okay in Botswana right now. Surprisingly. We're sort of kind of surviving in Germany, but not very well. I need to continue increasing my power. Let's go for a generator. Reduce decay, increase power. There we go. Stalker, Horde Size, Horde Speed, Power, Grabber. Now see, this is where Strength comes in. What's the difference between Strength and Power? Not really sure. It's not abundantly obvious to me. But okay. We're just going to try to surround Finland as much as we can and hope that some zombies continue to trickle in. Botswana should fall. I think actually going for this uh, reduced to decay rate might, might work. Kind of, sort of, for us. Uh, I'm going to go for... Do I want to go for the Grabber? Is Strength good? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I think we go for it. Let's go for the strength and see what that does for us. We now have grabbers. They may seem to be a normal human corpse, but they can extend its mutated head in an impossibly long distance. Oh, we have something else new here. Uh, initiating convergence. Horde speed, horde size, and power. Let's go for that. The extra power is nice, and I like the addition of uh, additional horde speed, because I'm probably going to be spending the rest of my power trying to get hordes over to places like Finland. Initiating convergence. The marker flashes brightly, emits a foghorn-like sound, and releases a powerful shockwave. All necromorphs are coming to the marker. Convergence is at hand. What does that mean? Right? I don't know. Because it hasn't unlocked the other thing, so I'm not sure what follows from that. I have yet to figure that out. Maybe I should play with the cheats after this if I fail it. Seacom destroyed in Botswana. Oh, goody. Alright, we're still kind of, sort of growing in Germany. We need to get as many places to Finland as possible. I kind of wonder if Convergence, like, triggers all neighboring zombies or necro uh, necromorphs to go to wherever Zcom is located. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Horde speed, more power, horde size. Maybe, or do we want to go for the increased necro conversion? The more people we kill in Finland, the more get converted into a necromorph. I'm gonna go for that. Pregnant! Congratulations. It's dead. Alright, we're now growing a little bit in Finland. Sorta, of, kinda. How are we doing in Germany? We're growing. We're growing nicely. We have yet to get into Madagascar. We should fix that promptly, shouldn't we? Yeah, it's the only country we're missing. We don't want to get screwed now, do we? No, sir. No, sir, we do not. Um, okay, let's send more zombies from, let's say, Russia into Finland. There we go. 
And we are now growing rather well, actually. We are about to finish off Germany. We have finished off Germany. That's going to be the end of Finland, and it looks like we're actually finally going to win this scenario. Divider symptom mutated. Nice. See, going for extra mutation in this scenario would have been a cool way to do things, I think. Would have been really cool. You could rely on mutation to get all sorts of different necromorphs. But, now we have Divider. That would lead to the Spider. An armored necromorph of gigantic proportions. It features two large arms with scorpion-like stingers and two very large tentacles. Power plus four. Cool, but expensive. Either way, though, it looks like we are finally going to win. Zcom is dead, and that's it. My god, I finally beat it. Okay. Necromorphs and its zombies have consumed humanity. There is nothing left. All dead. So, interesting. What it tells me then is in this particular scenario, and maybe in Necrovirus in general, I've been underestimating the importance of reduced decay. Because it certainly seems like if you can just infect almost every country, even if you have Zcom, as long as almost every other country is infected and you have really low decay so you're not losing zombies, they just keep trickling in and killing people. And it works. I don't know. Maybe I've been underestimating that this whole time. We only got one star, despite that. And I thought that was actually a pretty good attempt right there. We had to pop our Necromorphs pretty early. Simply because they were working on the cure and there was no good reason to wait. And I didn't want to wait, by the way, until like 90% to pop the Necromorphs. You might have thought that was a way to do things. I've tried that before. The result is, despite the fact that you infected a lot of countries, it takes so long for a Necromorph to come out that uh, they'll distribute the cure and you'll get maybe like two Necromorphs in your really infected countries. But beyond that, like every country you've lightly infected with only like 20 people infected. Guess what? They'll all be cured. No Necromorphs there you might as well have popped it at like 50 or 60%. And that's probably the optimal way to go. Pop it about 50 or 60% of the cure. The map is not fully updating here for some reason. It's a little bit of a bug. But oh well. We did infect everywhere. They're all dead. We win. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. I mean, yeah, it's a good scenario. I just feel like it's a little expensive. But I want to go to this, and I want to see if we have cheat options. I want to see what kind of things we can unlock. Bear with me here, please. Cheats? Nope, cheats are not available to us. We are not allowed to find out what happens if you go for Convergence. Okay. Well, if any of you guys have figured that out, let me know. How does Convergence work? Is it cool? Is that a way to, like, just auto-win? How do you unlock Convergence? What's, what's the gate to get into those places? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.